Woof Woof Scribbles Juggalo. And you are who? And I'm magnet. I'm magnet and I'm tired. You know, I don't want to do this video. Well, I'm tired too. I'm going to look tired. But, um, I sure look better the further I stand back. But anyway, uh, real quick here, I want to do a video. Because it's something that I've noticed a lot lately. And, um, something I'd like to point out. And I know it's uh, uh, it's a sensitive issue with you, and it has to do with the homeless. Now, if, when there's a hurricane or a tornado, and that's a tragedy. It's a horrible tragedy. People lose their lives. And that's sad. But they, a lot of them just lose their homes and they're homeless. And FEMA comes out and they help them. And they give them six months, I believe, or a year in an in a apartment. I think it's a year. And they give them money. And they give them debit cards with $500 on it. And they help them to get back out the and they can, to get back on their feet, correct? Right? Now as I drive down to Denver, my mom pointed this out to you. And I noticed it. I see a lot of uh, homeless out there. And believe me, I'm paycheck to paycheck and I'm not that far away from being homeless too. And that's the reality of it. Um, if I'm going to be honest here, and that's what I'm all about, honesty. Um, but the, my point is, what have we done about the homeless here? Jimmy Carter started a program, Habitat for Humanity, to help house the homeless. And despite what anyone thinks about him, he was a wonderful president. If you go back and look at his programs, and he had a lot of really creative uh, ingenious ideas, genius, ingenious ideas, and I was hoping Obama would, would be the same way, and I'm a little let down, <clears throat> not with the uh, health care initiative, healthcare act, healthcare law now, but with the, the fact that he's done nothing for the homeless and the American people in general don't care about him. They're drunks, they're drug addicts, they're winos, they're mentally ill. Yes, a lot of them aren't, but a lot of them are just paycheck to paycheck and barely making it. And Magnet and I and this is about honesty. I'm all about honesty. Magnet and I <clears throat> are paycheck to paycheck. And if we don't pay our motel bill, we live in a motel bill, we're going to be in the winter homeless. And that's, and we will get no help from no one. And the thing is, we work hard. We work very hard. But we're not getting enough hours. And being a painter this time of year, <coughs> believe me, we have the resume, put out the apps, and it doesn't look like uh, we, we are going to get any. Um, I thought I had a good lead in Wyoming, but that fell apart. Um, because the guy wouldn't tell me how much I, when I would be paid. So, so basically, fuck you. You gotta get. You gotta tell me when I'm gonna be paid. What days I'm gonna be paid on? Don't drag me up there and put me in a hotel and think I'm gonna work for free. That ain't gonna happen. I'm not stupid. But um, I guess the point is, we help out people in disasters, and the fact that in every city, almost every city, in this. 
beautiful United States of America. There's people living on the streets and nobody cares about them anymore. Th things switch. It used to be about the homeless. And then it was about drunk drivers. And then it was about the children. Protect the children. Everyone's, you know, and I have a child myself, and I'm all about protecting the children. Don't, don't get me wrong. But now it's all about the children. And, and everyone uses the children as an excuse to not cuss on the air. And, and Howard Stern mentioned this the other day. I mean, he's all about honesty. And, and, and that's what's getting me thinking about being more honest. Um, he says, when are we going to, he asked Robin, when are we going to be able to talk like normal human beings on, on TV? I mean, or talk like adults on TV and say shit and say fuck. When are we going to, they can do that on Sirius, but when are they going to do that on TV? And when are we going to start addressing, looking, looking back at the problems that we haven't fixed? And Denver is totally opposite. They made it illegal to camp in Denver. So if you're caught sleeping on the streets in Denver, they arrest you. And, and they give you a record. Um, so that's not exactly, that's not at all helping the problem. That's giving someone a record. And, oh God, they're getting worse than that. They're shutting down cheap motels. This motel we lived at for two years because the rent was great. <clears throat> we had a back room. It was more like an apartment. I had all decorated up. I painted it. I was getting a lot of money at the time. I, I should have moved in. But, you know, making good money. I built this restaurant. Dylan, Maggie and I helped build this restaurant. But anyway, um, you know, what, what if we let's do something about the homeless if we help hurricane and tornado victims and people who have lost their homes through tragedy whether it's a tornado or mental illness or getting fired from a job let's not forget about those people because those people may be you someday. They may be me, or they may be you. That's all I got. I'm Scribbles of Drug Law, and I'm out.